Hello traders, this is Lisbeth Bilugina and you are watching daily stock market review by Tradimo. The US central bank, the Federal Reserve, left interest rates unchanged on Wednesday and let the market know that it expects uh, no rate hikes this year. The central bank also cut growth forecasts and uh, sounded dovish. Although this is a positive news for the US stock market and S&P 500 is growing, the upside potential for the stock market looks limited because such commands of the Federal Reserve were largely priced in before the meeting. And now traders may st start actually worrying about the slowing global economic growth, the factor which is negative for stocks. As a result, although we see growth here, the upside potential is um, rather limited and we won't see the stock prices jump or um, head to the upside uh, really, really rapidly. That won't happen. As for resistance for S&P 500, we see it in the area of 2870-2873 mark. The biggest mover during um, trading on Thursday was the company Biogen Inc. It is a pharmaceutical giant and its stocks uh, plunged by 28%. We even need a weekly chart to have a look at that. And it happened after the company halted an Alzheimer drug trial. So uh, we currently see that the stock is trading at the lowest level since the summer of 2016 and um, likely the prices will remain in the area for some time. The stocks of financial companies like uh, JP Morgan, uh, like Bank of America and others um, had a rather negative session are trading on the upside as they are sensitive to lower interest rates uh, and uh, as a result the Fed's announcement had a negative impact here. We can see that JP Morgan uh, Chase found some support um, and uh, we will see whether it holds or uh, if we see a close at lower levels that may mark um, some further downside. Amazon is performing uh, really, really well. We see that the stock reached the level we mentioned before in the area of um, 1800 and the next level to watch is 1850. Apple also is trading in a big um, bullish territory here after a price upgrade and uh, the targets lie at the next Fibonacci level just below 200 mark. Also Micron Technology uh, reported earnings yesterday and it increased uh, forecast growth in cheap sector. As a result it reached resistance of 200 day moving average around 4370 and if we see a close above this level then the growth will continue. Uh, certainly the situation looks like uh, an inverted head and shoulders a bit. Walmart Stocks opened with a gap down as Chief Technical Officer Jeremy King left the company. But uh, in line with the overall positive sentiment, the stock is on the upside. And pay attention to the stock of Nike as it is going to report earnings after the market closes today. And uh, whether the figures are good or not will determine the further direction all in all, Nike is uh, having really strong fundamentals, um, but of course at this point the stock is not cheap and this may um, limit the upside potential. This is all for today, thank you for your attention and uh, subscribe to Tradimo channel if you liked this.